it is a general reading guys this may or may not resonate with every reader watching this video if you do need a personal reading all that information is going to be down below right all right libras in love dear god divine spirit universe please allow me to connect to your divine wisdom and knowledge please give me direct and clear messages please allow me to give guidance and advice for the sign of libra sun moon rising and venus Please reveal to me what should be known and keep from me what you wish to remain a secret. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's see, Libra. What's going on in love? How are you guys? <clears throat> right. Hmm. Okay. That's a lot of anger, jealousy, temperamental, pushy, demanding, lack of action, more like that fuck off energy. All right, we'll see. Mm -mm. You completely all of a sudden pull back your energies from your king of wands. I definitely see you as someone who's not taking action right now. This is either you're jealous, but I'm not seeing jealous. I'm seeing someone, you know what, like what? Like you could have broken up in the past. There could have been an end of a long-term commitment or marriage. If you weren't in a commitment, that's fine. But the relationship was as good as a commitment, okay? But something ended in the past here, all right? You shut the door on someone's face. Right now, you're hurting with the three of swords here. Something's really, really painful. Something's, you're hurting bad. But yeah. There's something that's causing a lot of stress, anxiety, a lot of pain, all right? Whatever happened in the past, right? You're still going through it right now. In the near future, we have your king of wands coming in. We have a true pair situation here. So, yeah, there's someone coming in who is really, really passionate about you. They, they are very passionate about you, okay? This person literally, like, is very drawn to you, very attracted to you. And probably in the past, they didn't take action or this person could have been someone non-committal or this could just have been someone who was just not very decisive about you, okay? And that's why probably things were not being able to reach that part of security, stability, harmony. There were constant clashes between you guys, okay? Or things were just not reaching that point of commitment, okay? Maybe you wanted something where this person introduces you to the family or you wanted more like a public commitment, anything, okay? But things probably just didn't work out and you could have been always been the one who was like the action taker who was always pursuing this relationship, like literally holding the entire burden of this relationship. Okay? And this person was just standing there doing nothing. They were depending on you. They were waiting for you to do all the work, but they're coming in because you're going out. <laughs> Seriously. You're, you're not doing anything about it. You're being so laid back this time and they're coming in because you're laid back. Yeah, well, that usually happens, right? So what, I mean, it's just like this little thing, right? Which, I mean, we all usually know, right? When we're, we as women, when we hold back, when we get into, fall into our feminine energy, right? That's when we, that's when we literally um, inspire the men to take up that masculine energy. I'm not saying that this has to be a woman. I'm just, you know how, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, so that's what you're doing. You're pulling back. You're pulling back your energies. You're not putting in any work on this, in this person anymore. Or probably you're just losing the drive. You've got no mojo left. You got, you're losing that spark in this person, okay? Because you could have tried and tried and tried in the past, okay? But all you got was heartbreak heart pain okay but they're coming in now because now they're coming in making boss moves they're ready to take action you're not making this a priority anymore and that's why they're making this a priority you're on their number one list dude you are like literally i can feel like you're leaving and they're coming behind you like the chase is on the game has just begun really you're still stuck on them though you've tried leaving you have you have i see you. you you've tried leaving you've tried letting go you've tried moving on but you can't you're still stuck on them and probably that's what this person doesn't know i like that you got the fooled but yeah they're coming back they're coming back they're very very codependent on you codependent energy they feel left out in the cold could be someone you're dealing with who has abandonment issues but i'm getting more like you know what no don't go stay more like i want back i want back in this person's very, very dependent on you. Like, they cannot do without you. Okay. 
they realize i'm getting literally like they realize what you what what value you brought to this relationship all right let's clarify why the queen of wands in reverse why the queen of wands in reverse yeah you're moving forward with the queen with the fool here you're taking a risk you're moving forward you're holding back from this person this person's coming in taking action they're zoned in on you like their eyes on you you know literally eyes on you and here you're like you know what like screw you i'm leaving i'm done i'm taking this risk probably earlier you were not sure you probably still wanted to stick around i'm getting a lot of needy clinginess from you you probably tried to you know push this relationship but you probably realized that you were the only one doing this and they probably showed the least interest in making things happen so yeah you retreated you were like you know what no more and you're moving forward with the fool here. You want a brand new beginning, but probably not with this person. You're just taking a risk and moving forward. Okay, you're holding back in the state of shutdown. Not you you have trust issues. Seriously, you do. You're not wanting to open up to this person, okay? Probably you could have given a lot of chances with this person that they wanted to come out. Why the fool? You're working on yourself. <clears throat> you've released the burden with the ten of wands and reverse here this was a relationship where you probably didn't feel supported by the person um that you were in love with maybe you felt like you were doing all the work in this relationship and they had no contribution and um yeah you did all the work now what you're doing is you're wanting to take the sleep of faith you're wanting to move forward you want a new beginning you want a new adventure you want something brand new all right but yeah now you're very focused on yourself or this could be that this is what i mean you're pulling back and there's someone here who's wanting to come in wanting to take the sleep of faith and now this person is really wanting to work towards you take it how it resonates okay but you definitely have i see you as releasing this energy okay because it was a very draining energy right it was killing you you're very focused on your work your career your goals see queen of wands in reverse queen of pentacles in reverse you're being very selfish now they were selfish earlier now you're selfish the tables have turned so yeah, like I said, either you're moving forward and focused on yourself, building on yourself, uh, on your own security, stability, whatever you want, right? Or because you fall back, now this person wants to come in, they want the sleep of faith and they're ready to work on this relationship. They want to put in all the work, effort, energy, what they didn't do before. Why the four of wands in reverse? What is this four of wands in reverse? Four of wands in reverse with the four of wands in reverse? Like, are you kidding me, bro? Damn. I don't know what to say. That's like, I mean, it's just like end of something very, very stable. Stable, not, I don't know. I'm still not getting, okay, could be long-term commitment, could be marriage. But this is like a very heavy energy. Something could have really cracked you up, you know? I mean, not cracked you, but something really hurt you. Something really, really like, um, Yeah, there was, that, that's a lot of pain in the past, okay? Could be family issues, could be you feeling unwanted, um, anything, okay? But yeah, there was a lot of disharmony here. Give me one more card. Why the four of wands in reverse with the four of wands in reverse? Why is the four of wands in reverse here twice? The empress. It wanted to come in reverse, but I think it flipped. But yeah, regardless, right? There was a lot of insecurity in this relationship, I think. I think you gave to this relationship to the point of exhaustion. You could have been always someone, you know, who was always trying to drive the entire relationship, you know, towards something stable. Or this could have just been you who gave this relationship a priority. Whilst this person ne always ne never put you first. Maybe for them, everything else was important but you. But yeah, in the past, you were the empress here. I mean, I, I feel that you realized your value. You realized that what you're doing, it's just not worth it that that's a lot of instability okay it's just not worth it could be many people involved but you know guys could be a home conflict could be you and the family didn't get along anything okay what is the three of swords here but you realize your self-worth and value in the past okay and probably you chose to end this what is the three of swords in the current situation why the three of swords in the current situation why the three of swords in the current situation? 
six of cups in reverse yep see you're holding a grudge against this person i think you're clinging on to the past memories okay there's something you're not being able to move on like seriously you're not being able to move on two things either there is a relationship not this relationship but a relationship with someone okay not the same person with another person you're clinging on to the bad memories and you still are uh, um i'm getting you reacting to the present moment with taking into consideration what happened in the past did i make sense i don't know but this is holding a grudge okay this is you not being able to move on because of whatever happened in the past and it's it's killing you okay with the three of swords here yeah, it is what is the six of cups in reverse what is the six of cups in reverse oh there could be someone here that you're dealing with who had a very very bad relationship okay someone literally screwed them over and they're not being able to get over it and that's why they're not very um they're not keen on moving uh on getting in on, on getting into something stable they probably just want to keep it very casual i'm getting more they want to keep it more detached there could be love here there's a lot of passion here but they want to keep it detached because they've gone through a lot of shit in the past you could be dealing with someone who already ended a long term commitment in the past okay and they refuse to give you a commitment or they refuse to get into something stable with you although they did see you as the empress they saw you as marriage material but it's like no and that's all because they have a bad past that they are not being able to forget and that's affecting this current scenario current scenario what is the six of cups in reverse See six of wands in reverse. This person does not have enough confidence. You are their wish fulfillment. You are with the nine of cups here. They see you as someone who makes them very very happy. But the six of wands in reverse is self doubt. It's someone who probably a either does not want to put in the work, or this is just a lack of forward moment. Okay, where someone does not feel supported enough, they could be feeling neglected. It could be you who feels neglected because this person is um, clinging on to the past, or because this person is not wanting to move forward with you. I mean, we have a true pair situation, but still, this person has issues from the past. Okay, or you're just holding a grudge against them because of whatever they did. But yeah, someone is. uh lacking that drive lacking that ambition lacking that motivation to move things forward again it's all because of whatever happened in the past you know i'm getting like you or this person one of you okay one of you this this is someone you are probably their passion project okay or they are your passion project whoever this person is okay so you have a lot of passion for this person okay um this person really drives you crazy <coughs> but when it literally comes to channelizing your energy towards them that's when you're not you don't have that direction you're all over the place or this person's all over the place their energies are all over the place they don't know what they want or they know what they want but they don't know how to get it again six of wands reverse feeling neglected feeling ignored what is the king of wands in the near future who is this king of wands in the near future so someone's moving towards you is what i'm getting here this person wants to move forward towards you they're coming in towards you with clarity what is the six of swords okay someone needed time or this could be someone you know to a lips say yeah they're coming in they're expressing themselves knight of cups could be an apology could be a love offer this is also commitment okay this person is coming in towards you they want a relationship with you and dude are they serious king of wands six of swords two of cups they're coming in they want this relationship with you you got a wish fulfillment coming in bro i love this two of cups this is a soulmate connection this is no bullshit connection you know It's a two of cups. It's a soulmate connection. I mean, this is someone um, who's I'm getting someone who's releasing their fears, releasing that codependency, releasing that uh, toxic behavior, and they're coming in towards you. They want everything with you now, and all this is happening only because you let go. You just stop putting in the effort. why the nine of swords in reverse it could also mean that with the nine of swords in reverse is also the energy of someone you know who's not making something a priority anymore maybe you don't you you're sleeping better you don't stress on this anymore you know 
What is the Nine of Swords in reverse? What is the Nine of Swords in reverse? Yeah, but you're very indecisive. You still haven't made a decision yet. Maybe you're judging the situation or this person too harshly, okay? But this is indecision. This is not wanting to repeat your past mistakes. Or, you know what I'm getting? You're not learning your lessons. Okay, Libra, if this is you. Could be the things are getting even worse. With the Nine of Swords, there's not always, it's not just one way, right? The reverse can also mean that things are getting worse and you're manifesting your fears, okay? And they're coming into reality. But you're not wanting to give this person a second chance, okay? Because of your past experiences with this person. What's the judgment in reverse? Yeah, see, you're holding back. Knight of Swords here in reverse. You're holding back with the Wheel of Fortune, but something's destined, something's fated, something's coming in for you. You're not going to be expecting this. You're holding back from this person. I'm literally getting like, you know what, like you're no more longer in a hurry. Like earlier, probably you wanted... To make things happen i'm getting a lot of uh, libra you pursued this person earlier you wanted to make things happen you put in all the work effort okay and this person was like just took a step back okay they were waiting for things to fall in their lap and now you've like completely put your foot on the brakes okay and this person's put their foot on the gas <laughs> seriously but i don't know if you want to give this person a chance because the judgment is in reverse which is a lack of reconciliation or indecision whatever I think you're thinking a lot about this. You're thinking a lot about this. You're not sure, but you haven't moved on also. That's probably one of the reasons why you're so indecisive, you know. Maybe there is a higher calling. Maybe there's something that you're not listening to. Maybe um, the universe is showing you some signals, giving you signals, but you're refusing to listen to them, okay? Only because you're thinking more logically. You're not listening to your gut. You're not listening to the um, signs from the universe. You're not listening to that intuition. They're coming in. Why the Knight of Knight of Wands? What is the Knight of Wands bringing in? In Libra's environment. What is this Knight of Wands bringing in? What is the Knight of Wands bringing in? The Knight of Pentacles wanted to come out in the reverse. Okay, so yeah, this person's ready to be in a commitment, ready to be in a relationship. I'm literally getting that this person could have wanting to, you know, this person really loved their independence. They like to be single. They literally uh, were scared to lose their independence, okay? And that's probably one of the reasons why this person probably didn't want to get into something serious or something stable with you. And you probably never understood why, but you still stuck around. But yeah, now I think they, they, they literally see you as the missing piece of the puzzle. Like they have everything that they need except you. What is a knight of what is a knight of wands? See how restless they are. Four of swords in reverse. They're reaching that they're coming out of isolation. This person could have ghosted you, you could have ghosted them. King of Swords. They're coming in with clarity. They're coming in with clarity. So they're coming out of isolation. They're ready to talk. They're ready to open their big fat mouth. All right, what is the Four of Swords in Reverse? What is the Four of Swords in Reverse? What is the Four of Swords in Reverse? Try for the Four of Swords in Reverse. Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, yeah. So I feel that with the Tower in Reverse, you're right. They're coming in to clean up the mess. They're coming to rebuild with you. They're trying to avoid a disaster, right? But I feel that they're not sure if you've given up on them. This is a disappointment situation, right? They're just, I mean, I'm getting literally like they're, they're reaching that point of exhaustion. They're reaching that point of burnout. They're overthinking, overanalyzing the situation. But they're rushing in. Because I feel that they feel probably that you've given up on them. They feel you're not waiting anymore. So I'm getting like, they're probably in two minds, okay? They don't know if you're waiting for them anymore. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seriously. It's like something is a disappointment to them. Something is a disappointing situation. Or it could also mean that they're fearing that this shouldn't be a disappointment like the past. Because the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is also bad investment. It's a situation that's disappointing over and over and over again. Okay. So yeah, they're probably in two minds. They want to rush in. They're coming in to talk. But again, they're not sure if you either you are ready to invest in them if you're waiting for them. 
or if this is going to be a fruitful situation or if things are going to come into fruition or not with you they're 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 um a little doubtful regardless i mean the relationship is coming in whether you want it or not the love is mutual here for sure that's why the eight of cups in reverse why is the eight of cups in reverse it could also mean that oh, never mind what is eight of cups in reverse See, page of wands in reverse you can't move on but then the thing is that you're not even communicating with this person you're losing that spark right you're losing the mojo in this relationship you're being very cold very harsh detached from this person right now for you it's like you know what like right now you're in the mode of like you know what all right i see the truth i see how it is thank you bye bye you're not sure if you want to talk to this person you're not sure if you want to reignite the spark you're losing you're lacking that like i say right you're lacking that um spark you're lacking the passion right now it's like you're done what is the page of wands in reverse like well it's the same old same old same shit different day like i don't even know if i want to put in the effort and try you're not even taking action towards this person what is the page of wands in reverse you're stuck on them but yeah what is the page of wands in reverse is the page of wands you see your feelings are left out you probably always felt lonely in this relationship here you always felt lonely now you're blocking them out with the seven of wands here i feel you're very very determined and guarded like i get what i want it's either everything or it's nothing you feel very left out this person could have iced you out this person could have had a habit of ghosting you or you just felt very alone in the relationship or even if no matter whether it was a relationship a connection or a situation ship you always felt isolated they could be giving you the cold shoulder this is just that lack mindset also but i'm getting more loneliness you miss this person okay a lot but again you're probably not going to communicate because you want them to come to talk to you you want them to communicate with you because you're just if it's not genuine you're done see you're feeling like this and they're coming back and you're both in a very similar energy it's just that they're coming back and you're still feeling like this because you wanted them to come back well guess what they are what is the five of pentacles in reverse and the likely outcome why is this the likely outcome five of pentacles in reverse please once you're going to have to make a decision when this person comes in because you're dealing with a control freak you think they're going to let you go i don't think so i don't think so this person has a hard time releasing control and do they're very hard to budge this person wants control of the situation regardless they're coming in but you're going to be you're going to have to make a decision when this person comes in what is the two of wands what is this decision that of pentacles slow movements i think with the two of pentacles in reverse and the queen of wands here they see you as someone who's very passionate they see you as this action queen this action taker they see you as someone who's very attractive sexy got their shit together you're like the shit for them okay you're badass but and now i think they're ready to come in they're dropping something either they were juggling you with two people which i don't really think it was the case but i think they were not sure about whether they wanted this with you or not more like should they invest or not or it could be anything okay just juggling two situations 